Okay, folks, here we are, <laughs> July 30th, 2014, a never-ending process here, and I wonder why, why do I sound like a broken record here, folks, because, uh, again, and again, and again, look what we're dealing with here, totally artificial, man-made uh, weather control, as they might want to say. Basically, uh, genocide. You can see it's quite obvious. You see here in Tucson or anywhere in states like this where, you know, it's a desert. And generally speaking, if you tried to get away with some program like this, you're, you're going to be busted because uh, our skies are completely different. I can see where back east, this would have been hard for an activist, or real hard, you know. It's hard for me, but back east it'd be like, whatever, dude. Those are clouds, you know, get over it. Now here, we're used to a great period of time where we get just blue skies as far as the eye can see. Maybe occasional little fluffy cloud. But basically all blue skies for a long period. What do we got here? Quite friggin' obvious here. When you start dumping powdered anything in the air, you're going to see it. It's going to be quite obvious. And apparently they have, they just do not care who is, uh, who is keen to this, who is awake, that can obviously say, gosh, dang it, those are, uh, you know, airplane dumped fake clouds. Well, they don't care. Whatever, this is a program so large, uh, so huge that, uh, the largest conspiracy in the world ever figures that I had to pick this one to fight. And, uh, you know, <laughs> they just don't care if that it's obvious because whatever their program is, it's larger than this. And, you know, we're all going to be dead shortly here, apparently. So they don't fucking care. And again, here we go. There's our wonderful cloudy sky, as the news would probably say. It just irks me so bad when I listen to the news. I don't really listen much, but when I do, this is what I'm hearing. What a joke. That's why I definitely am going to help the pursuit of full criminal actions against anybody, let's say, works for the media that's lying to us. Because if they have a, g a degree in uh, meteorology, they know damn well what's going on here. It's quite obvious to your average person, let alone, my lord, somebody that's got a degree in this. They know what's going on and they're lying to us. So understand, folks, that uh, we are going to help all of the individuals that are lying to us from the media fully accountable. They're part of a genocide program and they're going to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. And I'm taking a really good guess that it's going to be hanging in public by the neck until dead. So what do you think? Chuck George is no longer in the business. It ain't because he got fired because of cocaine use. So. No, he, uh, he had to sit and think about it, and this is better. Watch how many other meteorologists are like, oh, gee, look, they got a different job. Oh, yeah, ask Aaron. Well, you know what, Aaron? You're going to jail. I'm done with this. So are the people. Real News Tucson, reporter Chris Haskell.